mosquitoes leave you alone. He doesn't listen very well. He's deaf. What? <laughs> Evening of day two, Ox 31st. Toilet bowl. That's where we are. The toilet bowl. Wolf tracks. Some cow and calf tracks. Let's see how we do.
at 16 yards. Played with him back and forth. He barked, we, you know, we giving him little, little chirps, little beeps. He'd go back up, come back around, he'd come back, kind of set us. We'd move around, play him back and forth, just a game of tag. He finally gave up and went up the hill. We came back around. We thought he was gone. He came back in on us again, so it started all over again. Every time he stopped behind a tree, a bush, and never had a, a, a clean, good, ethical shot at him. Got tons of good video on him, though. He's a beautiful bull, beautiful velvet bull. So, it didn't work this time. It's still early. We're only on what day two. So, you stay with us. We're with High Country Carnage. We're going to put something on the ground for you. Well, it's day three. Me and Chris were going up one of my ridges here. And, uh... Walked right up onto a wolf that was bedded down in some dead fall trees. Got us both off guard. Chris has got a pistol and I left the rifle back at the truck, so, uh... <laughs> he was kind of mangy anyways, didn't have a lot of long hair, wasn't quality. But, uh, they're definitely thick in here this year. Hopefully that doesn't hamper our, uh, our elk hunting experiences, so, uh... We're gonna continue going up a ridge in here and uh, see if we can't call in some bulls. Cool to see the wolves. But eventually I wanna be ready for one and be able to poke a hole in one. Talk to you soon.
so rough and the elk haven't been playing at all. Finally tonight we got them to play. Had two bulls come in. First one was maybe 15 yards. I don't know what happened. Second bull was at 30, 35 yards. Drilled him. We just heard him pile up right over here. Joey's still calling over here because we've still got more elk in here. He's dead. He's dead. We heard him crash. So stick with us. Let's get some lights it out so we can see your face. But we're going to try and get it. Yeah! High Country oh, Carnage! Got it done. Booyah! That's that five point, dude. That's the ve is it's that the, the velvet? velvet? You got the velvet bull. That's the velvet bull. Oh, get yeah. up there. Let's check his ass out. Sure is shit. That's the velvet bull. He's dude. got a little. Look at the little six. Shine him. Look at the little six. That's him, dude. That's the velvet bull. I got my velvet bull. <laughs> first day. Oh yeah. Hey, brother. Freaking shot, dude. Good shot. Told him to pick a hair. Hell yes. All right, we're gonna set this up. Woo! Give, give some first, the first bowl. Oh, Hang on, I'm gonna try something. Night vision. Yeah. There we go. Got it. Two minutes left, boys. Night nice shot. Please tell me you pushed. I did. Turn your mic on. Yeah. Right there, dude. He's bigger than he looked on the camera, dude. Dude, he, he, he looks a lot bigger. Get over there, Joy. Shine him, yeah. 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 High country carnage. <laughs> yeah. That is what I'm freaking talking about. Done. <laughs> Got it done. Hey, guys. Chris Matthews here with Joey and Alan Burrell, High Country Carnage team. We got another bull down for you. Another nice five by. Finally it came together. This is the bull we were actually after the opening, the opener, first day. He was in full velvet, beautiful bull. I was telling you about it before. I finally kept saying I want to come in and I want to get this bull. I want to get this bull down. And uh I finally got him down. He's hard horned now, you know, which I'm not complaining. That's, you know, it's a bull down, good bull. So really happy about that. You know, we got, it took us a little while. I think it's, uh, this is the uh, 11th day after the opener. So it took a little while to get him, but I finally got him, got him down, got him done. So here he is. Can you well, see who, we'll get him? You didn't tell anybody what happened about what happened the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually, he came in and I was, uh, he caught me a little off guard or something. I don't know. I overthought the shot or something and I shot right over his back. So he, uh, we played him. Joey ran way back behind us and started calling again. Alan and I moved up on him, gave him something to think about, you know, and didn't let up on the calls. Yeah, we just hammered him. Yeah, I mean, everybody playing in together on him, and uh, he came back. He, was, he didn't know what went down. He didn't know what happened. So He wanted him some loving, didn't he? Yeah, he, <laughs> he was definitely looking oh, for the loving in the wrong spot. That was some awesome, awesome stuff. And don't forget stressing out your freaking camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, me too over there. I couldn't see anything. So I was trying to figure out what was going on without seeing anything. You know, what did you see, Joey? What All I side seen of was this? legs coming through the trees. And I was like, uh-oh. Then I seen Chris draw back. And I was like, dang it, I don't have nothing in the camera. 
But it, it all worked out perfect. He well, ran shoot, back up those, the hill. Yeah, those buku calls, man. They just oh, brought him man. right in. It was just, he he was like, nope, I'm coming in one way or the other. Yep. So man, we worked him hard. Just yeah. blew the crap out of those buku calls. Got it done. Perfect yeah. shot. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> you smell that? Yeah. It smells like, like success. success. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, I cut your cards, baby. <laughs>